Okay, I'm going to show you how to change the check spring or the tension assembly or just the felts on the tension assembly. All of those things can be learned by watching this video. I need my glasses so I can see. I need a screwdriver with flat head and I need two different sized Allen wrenches. So the first thing I'm going to take off the, the tension parts of the assembly. The first thing is this uh, nut. So notice here it has a, a ridged side and a non-ridged side. When we put that back, that will matter. Now I'm going to lay these down on my paper in the order that they come off so that I don't get confused. So then I have this little washer that has a bar across it. Then I have my beehive spring. I'll put it down. Then I have this little black piece of uh, metal. It's a little disc. Then I have the felt here. Take the felt off. Then I have the rotary disc or this part that spins. And then I have another piece of felt. And all of those make up the tension assembly. So now I have to take off the front here so that I can uh, reach in to loosen the, where the tension assembly is. So you just loosen these screws a little bit. You don't have to take them all the way out because they're slotted. So you lift that up and slip it off and set it aside. And you want to set it carefully so it doesn't fall. And now this hole right here has in it uh, an Allen screw that tightens down to hold this tension assembly in place. So you just reach in till you can feel the Allen wrench seats itself in the screw and lefty loosey, you loosen it and then you'll be able to pull this shaft out. Now the last time I did this it was on an older machine and there was maybe some gunk and oil, thread, lint debris and it was hard to get that out. I had to actually, you know, kind of jiggle it and, and pull it a little harder than I had to this time. This time it was simple. Now I need to use a very small Allen um, wrench and I think this one is too big. Allen wrench. This one is much smaller and it came in my set uh, with my starter kit, my new machine. Um, it's really small. I don't know what size it is. So you loosen that and then this shaft will come out. So I've got the shaft that came out of here and the check spring kind of wiggles in there and you've got to squish the spring for it to work. So there's a slot. I hope you can see this, how it, how it works. It, it, there's a little bit of manipulation that has to happen for that to spin in and out. Now I'm going to use this same one because there's nothing wrong with it. So I'm going to put it in the groove first and then squish the spring till it gets in here. Okay. So there we go, that's in. I'm going to take the shaft here and wiggle it till it goes in. Now I want the spring to be up here because it has to be able to bounce down with each stitch. So Leave the, the spring up there a bit and then tighten this screw back down. And when you tighten it, this won't come out anymore, but this will still bounce. So now it's ready to go back in. So before I tighten it down here, I'm going to turn this so that my check spring is at about 11 o'clock. And I'm also going to make it so that it's out far enough this way so that the check spring lines up with where your thread would go. But it can be in too far and it can be out too far. You want to have it uh, just right. And it's about an eighth of an inch out. And that's um, good right there. And now I'm going to tighten that down. So once you have that tightened, this won't move anymore and we're ready to uh, put the tension assembly back together. So to put it back together, oh, I should mention if you wanted to change your tension assembly to the pro tension assembly rather than the standard one that came on your machine, when you pull this out you would just replace it with the pro 
and they're the same. You can watch this video and you can tell how to do either one. So the first thing that goes on is your felt. The next thing is your rotary disc. The next thing is your felt. After that goes this little black it's shaped a little bit like a cup. You want to make sure that the spring sits on the side with the ridge. So look at it again. The bumps are down in my hand and the beehive spring sits in and there's a ridge there so it's like it's holding it. Okay, That's how this goes on. So you put the, the bar in the slot. You do the same thing with the beehive spring. You do the same thing with this washer. And then you notice the washer has teeth and the nut has teeth. You put the teeth to the teeth so they grab each other. So the teeth are out on the little um, washer and the teeth are in on the little nut. And then you twist that on and to tighten your tension you turn it more and to loosen your tension you uh, go to the left. So your tension assembly is back on and it has a new check spring and that's how you do it.